kicking off some Q&A with Aiden Hartman, a Bucks fan, asking about the Seahawks if they should sign Logan Ryan here. I assume Aiden's not breaking news there that that hasn't happened while I've been on air. Um, no. I think it makes some sense. You know, we did our NFC training camp battles. We mentioned Nichols kind of up for grabs. I think he'd be a nice fit up for Seattle. If, if Ryan's cost is more effective and more palatable than what it's been as of late, I think it does make some serious sense. I'm just not convinced that that number is going to drop to Seattle's comfort zone. From Soul Tiger, Seahawks Super Bowl chances. I'm curious what you, what you think you're here. Uh, the problem with Seattle is you can pretty much always pencil them into the playoffs. Yeah. But then they get there, and they just don't have quite enough firepower on either side. Mm. You, you know, Russell Wilson takes you a long way. Let Russ cook. Y yeah, look, t at this point, I think the strategy should be is, Let's utilize our best player and maximize him in Russell Wilson. But mm -hmm. I still wonder, and I think the reason why they have run the ball a ton in recent years is that defense isn't what it was. They don't like them being on the field a lot of the time, so they try to stay balanced with the run game. Mm -hmm. I think they're a shoe-in for the playoffs. Don't love the roster for a Super Bowl run. From Sanja Marie, if the Seahawks get Gordon slash AB, I'm hoping for Gordon, where does their receiver room rank? Well, Antonio Brown has to come out of retirement for that to happen. <laughs> Um, but, uh, although by the time this video gets posted, maybe he's unretired. Um, it would be, the potential would be very high, but you also wonder how many games are those guys here? Does AB get suspended? Does Josh Gordon get suspended? Like, I think on paper, it's for sure top 10 with Lockett I would, and it, DK Metcalf. And, and that's before you even start including tight ends. So yeah, I, I like their my, tight ends. I, I love their one-two punch, Lockett, Metcalf. If you can bring in a Gordon or an AB... I think AB probably gives you more variance, both high and low, because, yeah. you know, it's Antonio Brown. I think top 10 could be very, very possible there. These NFL-themed face masks will fit perfectly for you. Go check out everything that our friends over at Fanatics have for you guys at chatsports.com slash stay safe. They've got individual masks all the way up to four packs in a whole bunch of different styles here. So By the way, you get the four packs, the three packs. The more you go, the better bang for your buck. These four <laughs> packs, $29.99. Probably go more because that way you can wash them and have the full, you know, assortment of options available yeah. to you without them getting all and smelly and stuff. let's be honest, we're going to have to wear these for a while, so yeah. you might as well load up on them. Yeah. Chatsports.com slash Stacey. That link's in the comments and in the description. All right, from here, Kamar, hopefully I got your first name right, my friend. Bobby Wagner, Defensive Player of the Year. If a linebacker is going to win it, it's going to be in Seattle. I'll say that. Yeah. Uh, it's just hard at that position now. You know, he could have 150 tackles. Who and cares? people just go like, oh, 150, whatever. Yeah, we'll, Darius Leonard, got the, like, in his first season. So, we'll, like. We'll give it to a guy who had 17 sacks. Yeah, so there, it's, it's going to be the pass rusher or, or the, the corner. true corner that we got on. Yeah. Maybe if Wagner can get a bunch of interceptions yeah, like three over the or middle. Four picks plus lead the NFL in tackles maybe or something or like that. Or he forces all the force fumbles <laughs> yeah. like he does in Madden 20. And me. Seattle's like 13 and three. Yeah, like that's a lot of ifs. And may, maybe it happens, but I'm. I think that for Wagner, although he is the best off-ball linebacker in the NFL, yeah. probably not going to win his award or win the award, I should say. Since Hater Jimmy's back in the office, he wanted this question on the show: least favorite team in the NFL. Of course, this is just your biggest rival. So put your comments in the chat. Bunch of people watching. This is what we do here, folks. Least favorite NFL team. Harrison, quick thoughts. Oh man, uh, I've always just couldn't stand the Giants. Giants. Never okay. been an Eli guy. Okay. I've, Overrated. If he was still playing, he was consistently the most overrated okay. player in the NFL. There you go. Uh, some quick shout-outs here. Preston says Browns. Anthony says Steelers. Jackson, Seahawks. Loyal 49ers fan. Seahawks. Bunch of Cowboys fans typing in Eagles. I see some Saints as well. So keep those comments coming here, folks, live on our show. Seahawks fans, you might not know this. This is actually the fastest-growing channel in chat sports history. So if you guys keep subscribing, keep watching, we're going to keep giving you guys more Seahawks-only videos, but to make sure that happens, you have to actually subscribe, and you got to get your friends to subscribe as well. we got some big things planned, but it's on your hands here. You guys have to make sure we keep pumping out videos. So if you have not already, I'm not sure what you're waiting for, but hit that big red button and subscribe today. What if Jadeveon Clowney re-signs with the Seahawks? Uh, I think Seattle's pretty damn happy. Like, it, it, it's going to be cheaper than what he was asking for. They get to have their, their very talented, if coming off injury plagued season, defensive end. They feel a lot better about their edge rushing group. And, best case scenario, Clowney has a great year. Taylor develops fine, and they slot him in next year. And then, boom, 
Clowney gets them a third round comp pick in free agency because Clowney gets paid too. Well, if you're, win. if you're a member of the 12s, so you're a big Seahawks fan, check out our Seahawks channel, youtube.com slash Seahawks TV. Mary Kumar, what's up, my man? Will the Seahawks mm -hmm. sign another defensive end? If yes, then it will be Clowney, or Griffin, or should they trade for Yannick Ngakwe? I think if you're going to go out of those three, I think the most likely is Clowney because that's who they know. Mm -hmm. But I'll still say that I think Everson Griffin's a better bang for your buck than Clowney. I think that's fair. I think just to add on to the Yannick side of it, things are more complicated now because he has to play on the franchise tag. Correct. That's expensive. That's, I think, $18.1 million. They have to have all of that available in cap space to pay him because they can't restructure him or extend him and get that cap number down. So I think for Seattle, a Yannick trades more or less off the board at this point. I don't think it's very feasible. Yep. Clowney makes sense if no team ends up offering him big money. I think he ends up back. And if Clowney signs somewhere else, then I think they make their turn and look at Everson Griffin as a cheaper option. Oh. Top five Super Bowl 55 mashups. <sighs> You guys want to see uh, right, mashups? So we're we're gonna bring in the 1984 Chicago Bears yep. against the 2019 Kansas City Chiefs. Who wins? I'm gonna go. That's with the a Chiefs. mashup, baby. I'm going with the Chiefs. Okay, yeah. You always go with the newer team because they're they are faster. Yeah, uh, that's so the right answer. Mine's the Denver Broncos and the Green Bay Packers. So um, how about we just go with one here, so we don't spend you know an hour. All right, on, you go. On you go with yours, um, and I'll give you mine. Gonna go totally non-homer here. Uh, Cowboys Bengals. Wow. Oh, my Lord. Me and my dad fight during the game. It would be great. That's disgusting. Uh, I guess I'm going to go with more realistic. How about okay, that? Let's fine. go with the Baltimore Ravens against – let's go Russell Wilson. Okay. That's a good let's go one. Russell that's Wilson, Lamar matchup. Jackson. How about this? NFL, is it going to happen this year? Why for yes and for no? I want everyone watching right now, for the love of God, please type why because we need football. I need football to stay sane. I need football to do my job. And – Without football, guess what? It's not as much fun running these shows. So, Mark L. Rios, I got Jackson Dixon typing mm -hmm. Y. Dan, the man, King Tut. I want every single person to continue to type Y because we need football to happen this year. And to make sure that football happens this year, go do your part. Go to chatsports.com slash stay safe. Wash your hands. Wear a face mask. And if you want to go to an NFL game, mm -hmm. news came out today that you will have to wear a mask. Chatsports.com slash stay safe is how you get it. There's packs of one. They ship in two business days. There's also packs of four, all different kinds of, I guess, varieties as well, all your favorite teams mm -hmm. at the link that you see below. We'll put it in the comments and in the description. By the way, if you go with the bigger packs, the four packs, you'll actually end up saving more money in the Ooh. end. Sweetenings. Bears have best linebacking group. My suspicion I here is, no. is that Sweetenings is, is including edge rushers, so he's including Quinn and Khalil Mack, which – that's not how I'm going to answer Even this question. Even with, I still would probably say no. It's the I, Steelers. If you're including edge, sure. Okay. If you're including off-ball linebackers only, it is the Seattle Seahawks. Because you have Bobby Wagner, okay. you have K.J. Wright, you drafted a first-rounder in Jordan Brooks, you spent earliest round picks on Cody Barton, Ben burke and you got Shaquem Griffin. For off-ball linebackers only, which isn't that valuable, Seattle has the best group in the NFL. Okay, there you go. Tom, being all nerdy on us. Thank you. Go to Miri. What's up? DK Metcalf breakout year. I could see it. If they, if all the reports that we're seeing that the Seattle Seahawks allow Russell to sling it, I think DK could have a breakout year. Oh, he had 58 catches for 900 yards last year and seven scores. So breakout is a career year. I think he can go That's for. Really a, I think he can go for a thousand if they open up the the passing offense a little bit more, or maybe just a little bit more consistently. Maybe that changes if they bring in Josh Gordon, but he was there for the most part yeah. last year, so. I don't know if it's going to be like a true breakout where you're like, wow, DK is a top 10 receiver, but he's going to look like a long-term key piece for the offense, and that's all you really want. Darren Applewhite. Maybe Major's they should make. Kid. <laughs> uh, do you think the Seahawks could make the Super Bowl? It's going to be a better joke than I was going to make. Uh, thank so. you. Uh, I think, yeah, they, they have a shot. I think, sure. they have, I think they need to adjust some of their philosophy. I think it's a little bit of an outdated philosophy. And, and Wilson, Throw it. Wilson bells them out a lot with, his, with his backyard football game-breaking style of play that I love to watch. If they have the some of the pieces, I'm not convinced they're the favorites even the NFC West, but yeah, I think if things go right, they absolutely could. 